All right, I'm going to show you how to access our time and attendance system with your smartphone. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you download the Paychex Flex app, which is in the App Store or the Google Play Store. It has this blue icon. And when you log on to here, you're going to see the dashboard. And the dashboard is one of the most important places as it houses a lot of the most important items that you'll access. So here on the top, you can tell you have your check stubs. You can select the view details button that in the blue text to access your pay stub. We are a paperless payroll department, so you will not receive a physical check stub. Also, you will notice that here is the uh, clock, our time clock. You can press the green button to clock in. When you're going on a meal or clocking out for the day, you can press the clock out button that will, be appear, that will appear um, once you have clocked in. Uh, furthermore, uh, if you look down here, there is the time off section. After um, your one year anniversary, you'll typically be awarded PTO, but that is pending your offer letter or the circumstances of your employee arrangement. If I click on view all here, I can request time off by selecting this blue button that says request time off. <clears throat> Here I can select the type of PTO I'm requesting, whether it be a floating holiday or PTO or whatever arrangement you have. I'll select the date. So let's say I want to take off next Friday. I will select that date. And I will also uh, notice that it says 2. So this is really uh, from 4-16-2021 to 4 2021 That implies that you're taking one day. Here I'm going to uh, request the number of hours. You can take them in four hour or eight hour increments, but nothing in between. So I'm going to say eight hours. The start time isn't super relevant as the PTO request itself is um, just for whether you're taking the day or the half day off. Also, you can add notes here to say, hey, going on vacation. After you're done, you can go ahead and hit submit assuming that all of the information that you selected here is complete. It also will give you a little preview as to what your ending balance in PTO will be. So I'm going to bail out of here, as I don't need to make these changes. Um, also, you can see your previous requests and their status, and uh, your accrual history, which will show you kind of the running balance of your PTO. Lastly, you can see that there's some tax documents and such that you can access if you ever needed to um, access those again. You should be receiving those in the mail, uh, usually in January for the previous tax year. But just in case you are one of those people who are very quick with your taxes or maybe you lost that document, you can always access it from here. Um, lastly, I do want to mention that you are required on Monday of pay week to navigate to the time and attendance section here where you can review your time card. Notice how right here the period button is illuminated. Not the week, but the period. And here you can see that April 5th through April, or rather, uh, I have the uh, pay period located right here at the top where it says March 22 to April 4th. So that's how you know what pay period you're referring to. You're going to want to go in to this time and attendance tab each Monday of the pay week. Okay, so if you're getting paid this upcoming Friday and it's Monday, you need to go in here, you need to navigate to this page, and you need to approve your hours. There will be a series of hours that you've recorded throughout the past couple of weeks, and you'll need to tap on those individually and select approve, or alternatively, select multiple at a time and approve your entire time card for the previous two weeks. That's pretty much it when it comes to accessing the time and attendance system and our payroll system. There is one more app that I will display, which is the Paychex Time app. The Paychex Time app is pretty much just an app that is exclusively uh, related to punching in and punching out. Some people like to use this because it's simpler, it doesn't have so much going on, and uh, it can prove to be a little bit more consistent in recording your punches. So I would encourage you to download this app, the Paychex Time app, in addition to your Paychex Flex app. Hope this has been helpful, and feel free to email me if you have any questions, and have